Kanye West. Yep, the most uh, surprising person ever. We are into to Podluck. Uh, this is funny. I want like, like an intro song for Podluck. Da, 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 da. Da. Podluck. Not bad. Thank you. Uh, it says, uh, Kanye West under investigation for criminal battery charges. Ugh. That is uh, very sad. I also, and I just saw a thing the other day of him like... Uh, smooching with uh julia fox and well it's funny because like they interviewed kim kardashian she's like i wish that kiki can move on she's like so you won't be sitting outside my house in a fig I bu- in a fig bush mm-hmm. i love god <laughs> he's like dating someone else releasing some stuff also buys house next to ex-wife like he's, yeah he's fantastic he's all over the place he's he, the best he's gonna go to russia he's oh just gonna go to russia yeah and, like his manage so much going on he's gonna go to russia and do his sunday sermon and it's going to be amazing. Oh it's gonna, like the guy just, he's endless. Like no wonder people love him. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> Kanye is a little bit extra yep. it says, in it says, the mind. Kanye West is named a suspect uh, on an alleged battery early Thursday morning. TMZ has learned. Mm-hmm. Law enforcement sources tell us that uh, Yee got into some sort of argument that allegedly turned physical around 3 a.m. in downtown Los Angeles. We were told the incident occurred near the Soho warehouse. We do not know if Yee was at a Soho before the incident, but given the time, it seems likely. I'm assuming the Soho warehouse is a club. Yeah. Uh, we're told uh, Kanye allegedly pushed someone. The case is being investigated as misdemeanor battery, a crime that carries a maximum jail sentence of six months. Just chan- pushing somebody? The, the chances of Kanye West going to jail for six months for pushing someone are roughly the same of me, like uh, somebody just growing to be six feet tall. Didn't yeah. Dave Chappelle have a story about how, like, he got into a disagreement with someone at a club or something like that, and then the person like recognized who he was and like sued him for yeah. money because they're like, "You have some." Like, yeah, that's what's happening. I here. don't. I mean, obviously, battery and like assault charges aren't anything to just like laugh about. These are alleged. We don't know, but like, mm-hmm. what are the chances someone like launched himself at Kanye? Kanye pushes him off, and he's like. Got gotcha you now. Exactly. Where's like, my payout? Exactly. He's like, uh, that's that. I, it would be horrible to be a celebrity. People just know that they can like. Uh, well, I wonder if that's why they have so much security at times. It's both for mm-hmm. their protection, but it, it's but for their physical you protection have a stink as bug well right as on your their. Mic. <gasps> Hello, where are you? Oh, okay. Um, I, back <laughs> back to serious. I'm a professional. Yeah. I wonder if that's why they have um security both for their physical protection but also so that like they always have a witness with them so no one can be like they 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 punched me in the face it's like no they did not exactly so it says we've obtained video of an irate kanye shot sometime between wednesday night and thursday morning you hear kanye yell did y'all say that or not did y'all say that or not Mm because that's what happened right effing now uh, early this morning, Yeezy was uh, Yee was uh, partying at Delilah Club in WeHo. I don't know where WeHo is. With West girlfriend Hollywood. West Hollywood. Okay, with Julia Fox. He left and drove off alone. Julia stayed at the club. Oh no, that could be a She's bad. Got sign. stuff to do. That's mm-hmm. got. That could be a bad sign. We've reached out to Kanye. So far, no word back. Does, is there ever a word sent back? Is it ever like we reach out for comment and they had this to so, say? Sometimes they do. Um, which as a writer and a reporter that is is always nice but yes. um, in this sense i don't know why he would comment it to the press before he would comment on it like through a lawyer yeah mm-hmm. so it's just the so that uh, it's a yeah so he, this is from that same night that they were out it says uh, Kanye West is clearly working to send a message to Kim Kardashian showing some PDA with his new girlfriend Julia Fox less than 24 hours after Kim and Pete Davidson got cozy on their own date night. It's literally like we're watching hate dates like where they're like does she see me? Does she see me? Like in Cobra, is she looking? Is she looking? In Cobra mm-hmm. Kai season four, uh, they go to prom, or is that yeah? It was in season yeah, four. Yeah, it's in prom. And, and, and like both couples are like uh, they they're like there with like their partner, and but they want to make the other person jealous. So yeah. they're both couples are like staring back at the other couple, trying to make the other couple jealous. Have That's, you ever done that, Brett? Have you ever dated someone to make your ex jealous? No. <laughs> but you've that paused you though. To. Have mm. they done it to you? Has that happened? Um, I have no idea. Maybe. That's, if, if they did, they don't know me very well. Why you say that? I am too cool for school. Okay. Well, some people, worry. like, if 
they, that's not true I'm not it just like doesn't listening. engage you right like it's yeah. like oh if you want to be someone else fine be with someone no. else well would do uh like i don't i don't know like most of my relationships once it's once it's cut off it's cut off and it's like uh like uh i we have a coworker here uh who is like on very good terms with all his exes like they all speak very highly of him mm-hmm. uh and that's awesome but like for me it, it never ended on bad terms but like once you go on about your life you go on about your life maybe you talk once in a while but never answer that how you do in tech like how have you been at two in the morning text yeah. never answer it. it's a bad idea oh really it's a, it's a bad idea Why? what happens yeah what happens if it's coming from an ex it's bad things happen things that cause uh uh in what what, what did jada pinkett smith call it an entanglement yeah that causes entanglements ah. never get the 3 a.m text and to how you doing it's awful like, like what if it's a stranger do you think what? definitely don't answer that text. <laughs> what oh. are you talking about <laughs> we're not talking about that yeah we're, but in the context of this it is funny like i'm imagining kim and kanye are both like it, it feels like Kim's like, oh my god, just leave me alone. And Connie's like, girl, I need you back. Girl, Kimberly, I mm, need you. He does. He does. So, mm. okay, now I want you to tell me about this story, the one that you suggested here. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce this word? Pronovius. 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 Uh, wants brides to wear their gowns again and again with Second Life Initiative. Now, well, this is a little I bit like that idea because Japan has secondhand stores where they do that too. There's a popular one in the US right now, a website called Still White. You can mm-hmm. buy secondhand wedding dress for. So this yeah. is like, uh, you were talking earlier about making statements. Mm-hmm. This feels like something where you do it to make a statement. You buy your wedding dress secondhand to make a, dis- a comment about disposability or about... Uh, yeah yeah uh about disposability or uh you know the uh, what weddings mean uh mm-hmm. so yeah well this brand did and mentioned it in the article um they they do have some uh an eco-friendly initiative right mm-hmm. they're like we're doing this yeah. as p- sort of a green effort the other part is sorry do you want to no go do ahead you want me to explain go, it yeah mm-hmm. so pronovius is a um luxury that's what they call themselves a luxury wedding dress line they make dresses their dresses range from i think maybe a thousand dollars up to maybe five thousand dollars so uh definitely to me that seems like a financial commitment Mm -hmm. and they announced that they'll be uh sort of uh refashioning some of the dresses they already have to make new designs so not getting new material but repurposing something that already exists Mm -hmm. as well as offering an alteration service so if miracle buys a dress she can uh wear it again maybe get it shorter do whatever and it doesn't necessarily have to be for a vow renewal. It's just mm-hmm. something to do. Again, people will spend money on wedding dresses that then sit in their closet for yeah, ever. Forever. Or yeah. maybe their daughter wears it. Maybe they sell it to a friend. I feel like there's a stink bug on me. No, you're good. Um, you're good. It's just your hand. But ultimately, the uh, this trend is interesting to me, this, this business decision, because mm-hmm. in over the course of the pandemic, over the last two years, wedding the wedding industry has been devastated i mean I yeah so the average wedding i looked it up costs between nineteen thousand to twenty eight thousand mm-hmm. dollars which is you know a car yeah and if you want to spend that money i'm not shaming you you know have a good time but a wet and the average wedding cost dress costs about two and a half thousand dollars so the idea that you could repurpose it for something else and it's not uh, if maybe I'll save it, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, decisions might encourage people to keep buying dresses at it's this price. It's like a prices. really expensive version of your iPhone box that you save, even though mm-hmm. you know for sure you're never going to use well, it for anything. I would yeah. argue it's worse than that. Like men often for weddings rent their suits or tux or whatever, mm-hmm. but men can wear a suit that they get tailor made to them over and over and over and over and over again, barring major weight losses or anything else. Yeah. Yep. Whereas if I spend five thousand, two to five thousand dollars on a wedding dress, I will wear it one time. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. wild. It's a memory. I think it's so mm-hmm. interesting that they made this. I wonder if it's a sign that they are not getting the customers as smaller weddings or elopements became the norm because mm-hmm. people couldn't plan weddings in advance. Yeah. Or if it's just a sign that they are in the way that some uh, movies are casting people based on diversity to meet political correctness, Mm -hmm. if they are trying to be like, oh, we're not fast fashion, which essentially wedding dresses are. Fast Mm -hmm. fashion, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. but like, um, I don't know. I like the idea of reusing dresses like to other outfits, but like, um, as I said, like in Asia, they have these like secondhand stores where you can buy um, these dresses. Like um, one of my favorite YouTubers, at the end she 
eloped in and she didn't wear uh, a wedding dress she wore her name is Taylor R you can find her on YouTube I love Taylor R yes wait she, I didn't know you liked her that's so I cool. love her so much she's so cool okay I love her so much and I'm so happy that she's finally having her baby I know her whole fertility journey oh it makes me like emotional I'm so happy for her and Tom especially like after what happened with Tom she was like I'm staying with my man yeah yeah I know she's cool <laughs> mm-hmm. but she um, she had a wedding dress that she was looking at she was looking at certain dresses and there was one that she really wanted. I'm looking at Brett because I'm like, I gotta catch you up on this. Yeah. So she was looking at this one dress that was dated from 1920s. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was like the cutest thing ever. But at the end, she eloped and she wore a pantsuit that was like a hot pantsuit. Hot pink, yeah. Yeah, hot pink one. And then like her husband was wearing a He's also wearing a suit. He looks great. And every year on their anniversary, she puts the suit back on and wears it. And she can wear it more casually because Mm -hmm. it's like, if you saw someone in a pink suit, you might be like, oh, bold choice. But you yeah. would be like, why are you wearing a ball gown out yeah. to lunch? Um, yeah, but like, um, I don't know. It's the same thing with like prom dresses too. Like once you wear it, like you don't wear it again unless like, uh, because my prom dress was actually two pieces. I had like a see-through black top and then the bottom part was like this flowy um, skirt. And I feel like I can wear it again, but like other girls who buy these elaborate gowns, they can never wear it again. Same thing with like the wedding dresses. I'm sorry we like geeked out over Taylor R. She's so great. She's yeah. the one who created the Christmas tree nose trend. <laughs> that was She's so awesome. She's and really then the feather, um, the feather eyebrow trend too. It was the greatest thing ever. Mm-hmm. And she like her whole story, like how she became Taylor R, is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. She's a really interesting mm-hmm. person, and she's a good study of, like, YouTubers who use mm-hmm. viral, but not all that to say. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of changes in the wedding industry in the yeah. next couple of years, and, you know, culture and marriage may evolve as that goes mm-hmm. on, but mm-hmm. I think especially the retail aspects of the wedding industry are mm-hmm. yeah. pretty cool. Well, also, a lot of people want to do, like, traditional wedding dresses now, like, of their culture, so, mm-hmm. like, the I feel like those are kind of booming now. And then not a lot of women are wearing the traditional white anymore. Like if you're familiar with the TV show that we watched recently, um, Selling Sunset, uh, Christina's wedding, she had a black wedding dress because like she wanted to be outside of the norm. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. And then I did like, uh, I just Googled like how much does it cost to have a wedding on average? And this is like from 2021. I don't know if it's accurate to yours, but they said in state of Maryland, the average is like $33,800. It varies by state. California Mm -hmm. and New York have more expensive. Somewhere like Mm -hmm. Nebraska would be less expensive. I don't know. But how would you dream of your ideal wedding? Uh, I don't think of such things ever. What about a wedding cake? Uh, I don't think of such things ever. Oh. But I am fascinated hearing you guys talk about it because it's like it's just it's. A, I I'm a dude. I don't mm-hmm. think about this stuff. Like if uh, it's like it's like a there's like a Chris Rock skit where it's like mm-hmm. guys don't get married, we surrender. Yeah. It's like he's like That's fine, sad. I'll marry you. Just Aww. tell me the day before, I'll be there. Damn. I hate stuff like that. Yeah. Like I would want to marry someone who's like yes, I also want to make this commitment. It's, like uh, yeah. If you're well, dragging, I hate the. I'm talking to two people too. where I'm not committed. You, you know what I mean? Like if I was like maybe if I was in a relationship with someone and then that was going to start happening, I still see it as being one of those things where I'd be like oh my god this is such a financial headache mm-hmm. and because your your goal as the guy is to make sure that she has what she wants the best mm-hmm. day of her life mm-hmm. and what she She's wants is for princess. you both she wants you both to have the best day of your life but mm-hmm. does she really care whether you enjoy it maybe but really what she wants is for it to go off without a hitch and to be everything that she yeah. imagined right I think mm-hmm. the hard thing about weddings is so often they're for your guests right now yeah and that's honorable like that's part of hosting something right mm-hmm. but like if that is not your goal to host a party then when you rethink of it from the purpose of like i'm making this commitment i'm making this marriage like do i want to be in debt because i had to pay for a party and a mm-hmm. two and a half thousand dollar dress guys yeah, are gonna, no. i'm going to think more economically and be like is this a financial burden we as a it's like the people are like don't give me a, an expensive wedding give me a down payment for a house right so like, like that's i said what i told wait. that's what i told my ex the marine like i told him the reason why i don't want a wedding ring or like um or a wedding right now it's because like i'd rather have a house if you propose to me with a house right. that we own i will love you forever that'd be so and, cool um the guy like after him know. Like, he's my ex-friend, but he asked me, oh, if I propose to you with a house, would you accept it? And I was like, yeah, bitch, I'm taking it. I think it. that shows, like, I'm building a future with you, not yeah. one day. I also mm-hmm. think that, like, like like I said before, if you're going to, if in your wedding attire budget, 
Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be 90% of it goes to her dress when men can actually rewear suits or yeah. whatever you buy for them. Like, that doesn't make any financial sense. Why is this our cultural norm? Well, it's, I feel like it's because, like, how back then, like, the whole tradition thing where, like, um, basically you're just marrying off, like, your princess and, like, the whole tradition with the white and something blue, something. You are not a princess. Your father lied to you. <laughs> I don't know. But I wish like, I knew that comedian's name mm-hmm. so I could give him some recognition. But it's so funny because, like, throughout a woman's life, like, depending on what culture or, like, if you're a regular standard um, person, like, your sweet 16 is, like, your biggest party ever or um, quinceañeras or, like, Jewish, like, your bar mitzvah. I mean, Bats Missa. Sorry, my bad. Bart um, Simpson. Sorry. But yeah, and then like the Filipinos, they celebrate the 18th birthday. Like, um, then it just after that, like when you pass those ages, like you don't celebrate anything else other than your 21st birthday. That's why women like go big and beyond like for their weddings because that's the only time they feel youthful and beautiful because after you get married and you have your kids, they don't tell you about having kids. You know, like, how you have these, like... <laughs> Man, <laughs> where is this conversation going? Like, you know that body that you had and you could you could eat, like, anything you want or if you're on the pudgier side with me, that's out of the door. But babies blow up your body. That's why they're like, I need to celebrate how I look like now where I'm still beautiful and people still want me. Cool, but don't spend... I mean, if you want to, maybe, but maybe don't spend <laughs> I don't know, money. But or no, no. get a dress from this company, Pronovia, so you mm-hmm. can get them to offer No, I for agree you. with you. That's why, like, for me, I'm like, to throw out the whole idea of weddings because, like, it's just not financially, like, that smart. I don't smart. think you can throw it all out, but, like, let's let's rethink about Well, or we... you can just have somebody ordain your wedding. Like, Seamus, I think he can ordain a wedding for us. Mm-hmm. No, Chris. Chris Poole can. Yep. Yeah, he has a license for it. Yep. <laughs> and it's this weird. Why? I don't know. He just had it. He's like, I just. Oh, it's because one of his relatives. Oh, that's nice. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's what? Why did you give me that look? I didn't give you. I gave you no look. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, let's wrap it up. Sorry, I got excited about Taylor R. Thank you for bringing it up. That's yep, awesome. That's, you brought it up. Uh, okay. <laughs>